hello in this video i am going to show you how we can create admin login page so first of all right now we have this admin directory and i find one good design for admin template sorry admin login page so this is our admin login page design so i want to implement this design in sp.net this is the html so first of all i am going to create one new page add new item page name should be admin login and we don't select this master page because this is the new design for admin login page now copy this folder paste over here now open this code copy and paste over here this is the very simple code i paste over here now this is the uh, pure html but we do not require html we need sp.net code so i am going to write here home id run at server now we need to change this input control asp text box id t1 and run at server now again i am going to copy this paste over here and t2 we do not require this so i am going to delete this delete this and i use here br n we need to remove this button and we need to add here uh, sp.net button sp button id b1 run at server and text is equal to login now here i am going to put one br now i am going to run this page and we will check what happen admin login dot sps yes it looks good now we have to check this button will work or proper or not so first of all i am going to put in this set a start page now in design i double click on this so generate this event and i am going to write here response dot write this is for checking our button work proper or not perfect i run this and waiting for run now i am going to press this button and yes we get your message so our button is working proper now now we need to create database so right click here and add new item and here we are going to select sql server database database name is shopping and add yes now you can see here we have our database database name is shopping web dev right click here in table add new table we are going to take two field okay we are going to take three field id integer we need set primary select this integer and 
here in identity specification we have to do yes this is for auto increment identity yes auto increment now username where here password where here sorry we do not require registration form for admin because because uh, for admin it is insecure so i'm directly add few entries inside this username amit and password is equal to noble okay i add one entry now we are going to do your database connectivity so in this admin login dot sps dot cs we need here using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client we need these two library over here now here sql connection con is equal to new sql connection and inside this right click over here database properties and select this connection string copy and paste over here now we have to write over here coding connection open connection close sql command cmd is equal to cn dot create command cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot text then cmd dot command text is equal to here we have to write query select star from admin login this is the table name we are going to check table name is perfect admin login where username is equal to single double double single and password is equal to here we have to write t1 dot text and here we have to write t2 dot text now cmd dot execute non query then data table dt is equal to new data table sql data adapter da is equal to new sql data adapter da dot fill da dot fill dt Okay. now we are going to take one variable integer i i is equal to dt dot rows dot count dot to string now here convert dot to int 32 and now i am going to write here response dot write i here i is equal to zero initialization now i am going to run this and we are going to check how many record found when user enter username and password claret and in claret in both situation okay so i am going to write in claret username password CMD. You can see here 
we get here zero record because this type of entry not available in our table but now i am going to write here proper data and going to press login you can see here we get year one so this is the perfect now what we have to do if we get one so if i is equal to is equal to one else if i is equal to is equal to one then we have to forward in another page response dot response dot redirect and now we have to write here another page name we have another page name is testing dot sph testing dot sph and for error message here we need one label asp label id is equal to l1 and run it server and text is equal to blank in design we are going to see what happened okay run net server now i am going to run this and just check it we need blank label over there yes you can see here we have label but this blend so this is perfect now we have to write here l1 dot text you have entered invalid username or password okay now we are going to run a ring now i am going to enter insert username password and we get your message you have entered invalid username and password we need more br over here so we get your space also it's okay no problem now we are going to write correct username and password amit and noble now login oh you can see we are getting successfully login so this way we can create admin login page thank you so much for watching my video